All right, broski, it's Tina back with another video. And this video is, and like I've done this before on my old, old, old channel, man. I've talked about DOMS before, but here is the science behind DOMS. Like when people say science, they've done tests on this. This isn't like they made it out of the thin air. Like they pulled it out of a hat out of thin air, okay? It's really is about DOMS, okay? So this is from uh, PubMed, okay? It's a short version. I'm not gonna do the whole ncbi long version on on this dom stuff but anyway so pubmed advance advances in delayed onset muscle soreness uh doms part one pathogenesis and diagnostics okay so um what is it what is doms doms delayed onset muscle soreness doms is a type of what ultra structural muscle injury how about that it's a structural it's associated with ultra structural muscle injury now what do you knew what do you know in the physical world that can get an ultra structural that can get ultra structural damage to it a bridge an elevator cord a building your house i don't know whatever anything can get some ultra structural muscle or sorry ultra structural damage to it now how do you get it to become stronger now that it's got some damage to it well, you add more material to it and it gets stronger. Okay, so the manifestation of DOMS is caused by eccentric or unfamiliar forms. So that's why I try to tell you, a short range of motion is really focusing on the eccentric part. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, or unfamiliar forms, unaccustomed, um, untrained muscle, unaccustomed muscle, unfamiliar forms get this type of ultrastructural muscle injury. Clinical signs include reduced force capacities, increased painful restriction of movement, stiffness, swelling, and dysfunction of adjacent joints. And it, this pain usually lasts, this pain usually lasts about, I don't know, three, maybe four days. It gets very heightened in those days. Okay. <clears throat> Although DOMS is considered a mild type of injury, of course, because it's a micro injury, it is one of the most common reasons for compromised supportive performance. Yeah, you don't want to get that if you're a sports person. In the past few decades, many hypotheses have been developed to explain the ideology of DOMS. Although the exact pathophysiological pathway remains unknown. The primary mechanism is currently considered to be the ultrastructural damage of muscle cells. Oh, so Dobbs is associated and this all is associated with ultrastructural damage is also ultrastructural damage to muscle cells due to what? Unfamiliar supporting activities or eccentric exercise. Well, how about that, eh? They didn't say concentric, did they? They said eccentric exercise. They didn't say concentric. Okay, which leads to further protein degradation apoptosis, meaning there's a necrosis of the muscle. So you need to feed it a hell of a lot of protein. So now when you do get this type of damage, protein synthesis needs to exceed that breakdown or you'll get an apoptosis. All right, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, local, there's the apoptosis, a local inflammatory response. The development of clinical symptoms is typically delayed, peak soreness, 48, 72 hours. Yeah, yeah. Post, post exercise, you don't get sore after your exercise, post, like they said, delayed. As a result of the next day, as a result of complex sequences, a local and systematic uh, physiological responses, the following uh, narrative review was conducted to present the, the overview of the current findings regarding the damaging, damaging mechanisms as well as the phytophysiological of DOMS and its diagnostic evaluation. Well, there you go. So there's the short lowdown on it. So it does exist, okay? It's associated with, DOMS is associated with muscle damage. I don't care what anybody says. So I posted this in, in the community section. It's another section they call it uh, they call it uh, stem stem cell for skeletal muscle repair. Yeah. Or the or oh no I didn't post this one no I did this one I didn't post yet hold on that's not the one I posted I posted the stem cell niche I think 
Yeah, I think I posted the stem cell niche in there. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta go look there for a second. Hold on. I just posted this in my community section. Or just control it all. Hold on a second. Community section. Yes, sir. There it is. The stem cell niche. Yes, man. The stem cell niche, bro. Let's see. Okay. Uh, what is taking this so long? I don't know what's loading so long here. There we go. Satellite cell and the muscle stem cell niche. Yeah. So, uh, skeletal, uh, adult skeletal muscle mammalians is a, a stable tissue under certain circumstances, but has remarkable ability to repair after injury. It does. Skeletal muscle regeneration is a highly orchestrated process. It definitely is. I would agree with that. Your experiences would teach you this if you get that. Yeah. Um, there's a really there's a section here that's oh this is this is pretty interesting this is stem cells the satellite stem cells how they operate due to injury yeah just a second yep stem cell population population um, just give me a second. I gotta find it here. I know it's down here somewhere at the bottom here somewhere. Uh, variance? Nope, not the variance. Jesus, this thing is really long, eh? Oregon's. Sorry, I should have had this already pulled out. Then I would have had to go to the. I would have had to go to the top right because this stupid thing is so long, man. Satellite cell and muscle regeneration. This is a pretty good section. Teaches you about myofibers. Yeah, another. This is a pretty good map here. This one is pretty good too. Explains a lot here. Differentiation and stuff. So here it is. An introduction to muscle regeneration. Muscle regeneration occurs in three sequential but overlapping stages. Well, we know the initiate with the initiation one is the muscle injury, and after muscle injury, you get number one, an inflammatory response. You get an inflammatory response due to the injury. Okay, the activation, differentiation, and fusion of satellite cells, and number three. The maturation and remodeling of newly formed myofibers. Muscle degeneration begins with necrosis, a necrosis of damaged muscle fibers. That's why muscles can't get damaged all the time in the gym. You understand me? You can't damage muscle fibers every time you come to a gym. Let's say you did your chest, even if you do splits. Let's say you did your chest, and then you come in the next day, you try to do your arms. It's protected from getting damaged by repeated butt effect phenomena. Because if it would keep getting this necrosis, if you were to do your arms, you're still kind of working your chest and some other body parts. You'd uh, disrupt this repair and remodeling and then it's just, it's messed up, man. You'd get rhabdo. It's just, it's just crazy. It wouldn't work like that. You can't damage muscles that are already damaged. Keep, keep re-damaging them. They have to go through repair and remodeling. So, yeah, that's what happens. So... This event, this event is initiated by the solution of the myofiber sarcolemia, which leads to an increased myofiber permeability, disruption of da 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 Tells you a whole bunch of things here. Yada, 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 yada. The process it goes through myofiber necrosis also activates the complementic cascade of induced inflammatory responses, so forth and so on. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it tells you a whole bunch of Highly orchestrated regeneration process follows muscle regeneration. A hallmark of this stage is exclusive, extensive cell proliferation. Extensive cell proliferation, yes. Block cell proliferation. Ta, 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 ta. They're doing a huge test here. I don't know. Muscle regeneration can be characterized by a series of morphological characteristics. Okay. Look, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, okay? This thing is massive to, to read through. At the end of muscle regeneration, newly formed myofibers increase in size. See? Newly formed myofibers increase in size. 
and my own nuclei move to the periphery of the muscle fiber under normal conditions. The regenerated muscles are morphologically and functionally indistinguishable from undamaged muscles. There you go. See? And then they have more sections here, satellite cell activation and differentiation. In intact muscle, satellite cells are subliminally, uh, subliminally, subliminal, and mitotically quiescent. They are mitotic. They don't split and divide. That's why you can't build, you don't build muscles by just waving your arms around. They don't split and divide. Myonuclei don't split and divide, okay? Yeah. Upon exposure to signals from a damaged environment, satellite cells exit their quiescent state and start to proliferate. Satellite cells activation proliferating. Satellite cells and their progeny are often referred to as the myogenic precursor cells. And as you age, this myogenic decline goes down. You want to wear off myogenic decline. Yeah, so satellite cells activation is not only restricted to the site of muscle damage. In fact, localized damage at one end of the muscle fiber leads to the activation of all satellite cells along the same myofiber and migration of the satellite cells to the regenerative site. Satellite cell activation is also accompanied by ex Extensive cell mobilization and migration is also observed by the satellite cells can migrate between myofibers, even muscles across barriers. Wow, it's incredible, isn't it? During muscle development, growth, and regeneration recently demonstrated that, uh, okay, satellite cells in the early stages, muscle regeneration, uh, in addition, dynamic, da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. Unlike quiescent satellite cells, myogenic precursor cells are characterized by the rapid extension, okay, whatever. So yeah, myogenin satellite cells were observed early as 12 hours after injury, which is uh, before any noticeable sign of satellite cell proliferation. Well, uh, 48 hours. Like I said, this is quite extensive. I can't go through the whole thing, but there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So yeah, friends, tell me what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, man, that's, you know, Dom's bro. It's associated with muscle damage. I don't know what else to say there. It's just crazy. People are so daft out there. See you later, man.